Mulacher! You want to look this good, don't do any drugs. Mulacher. Okay. Skateboard. Mm. Nah, you're over there. Okay. That's Swedish. Hi, I'm Joey Tempest. And <laughs> I'm Ian Hauglund. And uh, you might know that we're from the group Europe. Mola Chuck. And uh, I think also there's What are you kind playing of a, with, man? Uh, this is my uh, <laughs> penis <laughs> a trap. I thought it was I a dog. Put it on like this. So you can see. Well, anyway, I think. Uh, this is a used show. <laughs> I think. Uh, it's a new song. It's one of the new songs we're going to play tonight. Mola Chuck. Where were you? What did I say? You were just talking What's about some bullshit anyway. Forget. Who am I? That's Where next, are you? Next question. Mola Chuck. It would be incredible if you can sell same amount every album you know it has to be up and down I think most bands have you know certain time limits when they have to release albums and certain people on the record company that tell them tells them you know why don't you come up with something more commercial you know that happens to every band it's just a question of how much you want to compromise you know? and we don't feel right now we don't feel like compromising very much so it's pretty rough the stuff we write right now And also, I think the the record company seem to be very much supporting us. I mean, they they heard some of the songs and they like they like the the direction we we taken the more rockish, more liveish direction. And uh, I think so. I think it it seems to be very positive the whole situation. Mola Chuck. But I think it's great that rock and roll is getting so popular. That's that's great. But I mean, I don't think that the Guns N' Roses thing will last that long. I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be quality around in the songs. There's no doubt about it. Sure. I, I mean, mean, I don't say that they have, they can't. I mean, I like their albums. Some of the songs are real good. But it's so many bands that comes out and try to be like them and try to be this thing, and that's not much quality. So they're just riding on this attitude thing, you know. And they might be okay right now, but in the long run, and they won't live. You know? I guess it's the same thing as. That happened with Sex Pistols. Everything has been been so, uh, what do you say, uh, pretentious during the 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 eighties. We tried to improve the the studio quality and and not to make any you know everything is supposed to be perfect in every way you know and and then Guns N' Roses came with a totally opposite thing you know just go into the studio and do everything. Particularly, or almost like in one take, you know, and and uh, everything is very simple and very down to earth and just rock and roll and we don't care and that kind of attitude. And I think it was kind of a relief for the for the kids to to hear new. I think it sounded fresh to the to the kids. And uh, I think that's one of the the big reasons why they yeah. became so big. Molacha. I think it's a problem right now. This, the touring and the concerts, the tickets are going up. The shows, the productions are huge. I think it's time to bring that back, to bring the audience back out again, because they cannot afford to go to more than one. Some of them might not afford to go to one concert a year, or two a year. You know, that's it, because they can't get money to go to. More. So that we would like to look into that for our next world tour. And, i don't know if we had to bring down our production a little, maybe, uh, just to make everybody be, you know, to make everybody to be able to come and see you play. And uh, it seems like this year the biggest box office uh, sellers are The Who and uh, Rolling Stones and uh, those kind of bands. That people they know what they're about yeah. you know they don't take any chances to pay all that money to go and see something they don't know really and they really established yeah. those bands they've been around for at least 20 years Mola Chuck. I mean me personally I, I don't like I don't like that kind of attitude but I mean somebody probably do and and uh, I mean I think it's up to ever mm. 
to each person in the world to, to decide if they what they want to do with their life if, if it's alcohol or taking drugs or not taking drugs me personally I think you shouldn't take drugs I don't take any drugs and I never done and I never will be taking any drugs so my advice is don't do it I don't <laughs> and I'm still alive and um, Laving, if you want to be looks, as alive yeah, and if you want to look this good don't do any drugs <laughs> Mulatcha! time in, in Los Angeles uh, we've been there for almost two months writing new songs and uh, trying to get the new album together so we have uh, we'll have the album ready and a lot of ideas that we're working on and we're gonna try out some songs live tonight at the festival have you still recorded the album or is this just in a, in a writing writing right now which, as, as Ian said we're gonna try three or four songs tonight mm -hmm. on the show new songs right. uh, any particular names you will give away for us no yeah for the songs <laughs> yeah for the songs sure <laughs> no 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 we'll see tonight it won't help you <laughs> I haven't heard them this is a, this is actually the first time we ever played these songs live so it's it's kind of a exciting thing, you know, to see what the reactions from the audience will be like. They're wild, crazy songs. Yeah. It's it's a bit different from what we've done before. It's going back on the hard side. Hard, hard side. It's more on the live side because we always people always come to us and say, "You sound much heavier live. You sound much better live." Sure. And that's what we uh, you know we've written songs that's so good to play live. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next album, we, we won't go out, we won't leave the studio until we have our live sound. Mm -hmm. so, I see. So that means you, you're, doing, you're going very rough, huh? very hard. Yeah. You're going rough, yeah. Not back to the final Canton side. So. Well, the final, if you listen to the whole album, it's, it's a heavy album. It's just that a few songs took another you know, direction. You know. We didn't know it when we were writing it, but they, it was afterwards it took a more commercial ride. Yeah. If you want to look this good, don't do any drugs. Mola Chuck. Okay. Skip it. Nah, over there. That's Swedish. Hi, I'm Joey Tempest. And <laughs> I'm Ian Haugland. And uh, you might know that we're from the group Europe. Mola Chuck!